Good evening and welcome to the Monday, April 18th meeting of the Hammond Plan Commission. Uh, if you could please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. You, uh, roll call, Mr. Novak, please. Yes, uh, Roger Brock. Here. Dean Button. Here. Mike Dye. Ann Herbert. <clears throat> William Hutton. Here. Thomas Kizmierzak. Here. Dan Spitali. Here. Sharon Zaney. Here. Marcus Taylor. Here. Uh, seven present, we have quorum. You absent. Thank you, Mr. Novak. Uh, next item on the agenda is approval of the meeting minutes for February 22nd, 2022. Hopefully everyone has had an opportunity to uh, receive and review the minutes. Is there a motion to approve? I'd like to make that motion. Thank you, Commissioner Second. Hutton, seconded by uh, Commissioner Brock. Um, is there any discussion on the minutes? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call on the motion. Roger Brock. Here. Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dean Button. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mike Dye. Ann Herbert. William Hutton. Yes. Thomas Kizmierzak. Yes. Dan Spitali. Yes. Sharon Zaney. Yes. Marcus Taylor. Yes. Uh, seven ayes, uh, two absents. Motion passes. Next item on the agenda is old business. Uh, is there any old business? There is no old business. Thank you, Mr. Poland. Item five, new business. CP 22-06, petition of Hammond 1 LLC and Hammond 2 LLC for a three-lot subdivision known as Water Tower 2nd Edition to the City of Hammond located at 6527 through 6529 Columbia Avenue within the City of Hammond. Mr. Novak, have the uh, notification requirements been met? Yes, they have. Thank you very much. Uh, if the petitioner could uh, please uh, walk us through their petition. Um, state your name and address for the record <laughs> and then sign in. Yes. Uh, good evening, my name is Glenn Bourne. I'm a land surveyor and principal at DBG Team Inc. in Crown Point. Would you like that address or my personal address? What office address? Okay, 1155 Trout Wine. Road in Crown Point, Indiana. I'm uh, here on behalf of uh, Hammond One and Hammond Two, who are the owners of the, the two of the parcels that are basically co-petitioning together to replat the lot. And I believe the owner, Mr. Miot, is also on the Zoom as well to answer any questions. Uh, it is pretty straightforward. Uh, a few years back, uh, probably more than a few years, uh, we came in and um, subdivided, we were trying to do some things with the old Sturks building and we subdivided into two lots, co-petitioned with the city for the water tower addition, um, cleaned up some right-of-way issues, cleaned up a lot of different issues and did a little parcel swap um, and then basically became lots one and two in water tower addition. Uh, what we're looking at today is to um, utilize a lot of the unused land on the north end of the property which would allow um, Hammond 1 and Hammond 2 basically to create a, uh, a sellable lot or a buildable lot. And so as part of that, we, what you have before you is Water Tower 2nd Edition, which is the resubdividing of the remainder of Lot 2 into three lots, uh, 1, 2, and 3. One is, would cover the existing um, legal description and everything on the western one, which I believe is the, the 6525 uh, Columbia Avenue. Uh, the existing other building that's there, uh, which is the 6529 Columbia Avenue, and then obviously to create the new parcel in Lot 2. So I, if you're looking at uh, the preliminary plat, or if, I, I'm not sure what, you're, what you have in front of you. Final plat. Final plat, okay. So the preliminary plat we kind of went through just to give a, an idea of what could go there with a possible restaurant or another, uh, like a Wendy's or something like that. We, I don't believe we have a tenant in, in mind just yet, but uh, again, this process will allow us to go forward with the, the to sell off lot two to a, to a buyer to allow us to develop it. Um, I think uh, we worked through uh, some of the easements. We added some easements to cover some 
um, existing utilities. We went through some uh, parking um, calculations and, and, and how this entire site could work. We dedicated a little bit more right away up at 165th to kind of give that curve to give them some more room uh, around uh, for any turning trucks in and out. And, we, and again, we added some private easements to cover some of the drainage. And then we have another document that's external for um, for parking or for share, let's say, excuse me, access through the property that allows it to, to kind of go back and forth. Um, it's pretty much that's it. It's just it's a replat of the existing two lots into three clean lots and allows us to, to create a buildable parcel on lot two. Okay, um, if I can ask a couple of questions. Uh, Glenn, you made reference to the curve at lot two, but you called it as dedicated to what? It, it, it's not actually a dedication inside the lot. It's just it's a curve that will allow the, the curbing from 165th, a better entrance, for the, and cover the existing curbing that's there. Okay, so it's just more of a property line corresponding yeah. to the curve so that the entire entrance is on uh, lot, lot three. three. Correct. Okay. Yeah. If, I, if I said dedication, I misspoke because it's, it does not get dedicated to the city. It's just we created the lot line to, so the, it would match the existing improvements and kind of clean up any encroachments. Okay. Um, and there were discussions. Um, I know when I sent my last email about the access easements, I think I may not have been clear enough that I consider there's two access easement questions that are not resolved yet. Um, one is the access from the water department site. Um, for the plan commission members, um, the, there is an existing gate that the water department has had um, for many years that emptied out onto uh, this proposed lot three, and that when they re um, replaced their fence recently, they put the gate back in the same place. And from what I've been able to determine, there were no records of on the previous plat or anything that allowed the water department to exit out onto this property. So there were, we initiated conversations with uh, Mr. Mayat, the owner, or representative of the owner, um, Jaime Prieto uh, with the water department to try and see if we can come up with a solution that would allow um, that circumstance to occur. Um, it's, it's kind of one of those unwritten pre-existing easements and um, I think it's only appropriate to um, have that addressed in a formal manner, but unfortunately that hasn't taken place yet. And the second thing from an access standpoint is um, when I did look at your proposed site plan, which is, it is in the packets, but I marked it as preliminary site plan as opposed to preliminary plat, but it is the preliminary plat. Um, because of where the drive aisles are and the parking rows, um, in particular between lot one and lot three, the people using lot three would have to drive on lot one to get to the ends of the parking rows. And so therefore, um, typical of subdivisions within a C2 shopping center district, there is a, gen a general cross access or a blanket cross access easement across the entire property. And so that was what I was, set the, the, that second thing I said is what I was really trying to get at in my last email. And so I don't know if that is addressed in an easement, easement covenants restrictions document. I, or I thought you had a copy of that already because it has been drafted. Okay, and, and, and uh, I think at the time, I probably, when I wrote it, I couldn't remember. All right, okay. So therefore that's why I was asking okay. the question. Yep. It does exist, it was prepared. Um, I believe Craig's attorney had, had put that together for the cross access between the owners of the, the three lots. Okay, and so that being the case, that there is a cross access easement or an ECR, and is it recorded at this point in time? I don't believe I recorded it. I think it was executed. Maybe Craig can answer that. Okay, so then therefore, 
we would ask that it is recorded first and a notation is put on the plat referencing the document for that particular um, cross access amongst the three lots. And, and did it or did it not also address parking, shared parking or cross parking? I believe it just covered access. Okay. Well, it is kind of typical that most it, properties in a C2 shopping center district allows for a little bit of cross parking. That's typical. Um, but this, and then the secondary document or the second, the, the first situation between the water department, that is an unprepared document at this point in time. Correct. And therefore, um, that is something that w we need to pursue that being resolved and then recorded and referenced on the plat. Go ahead, sir. Could you, uh, could you, uh, I got your, your name, could you give your address too, please, for the record? My address is 1 Sansom Street, Suite 3500, San Francisco, California. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayad. I'm sorry to hear of your uh, situations that you've been dealing with, our sympathies. Uh, any questions uh, for Mr. Mayad or Mr. Bourne for the commission? Okay, being none, uh, I guess at this time uh, we would open it up for a public hearing on the petition. So uh, re uh, ready for a public hearing if, if there's uh, anyone in the audience wishing to speak in favor of the petition, please come forward. Anyone in the audience wishing to speak in opposition of the motion, please come forward. Uh, anyone online? I, I would note uh, Commissioner um, Herbert is, uh, is present at this time and she entered the meeting. Uh, 6.05 approximately the time when we, 6.05, but approximately the time when this case was being presented is where I was going with that, Mr. Poland. Uh, anyone on Zoom wishing to speak? Uh, anyone wishing to comment at all on this petition? Seeing none, I will close the public hearing portion of this meeting. Thank you. At this time, uh, any other further comments from the petitioner? Thank you, Mr. Mayotte, I do appreciate. Uh, next uh, portion of the meeting, then we would turn it over to the staff. Uh, Mr. Poland, would you prepare, uh, provide a staff report? Uh, <clears throat> yes, um, th this is gonna be a little bit of an amendment as to what is written in front of you. 
Um, it, it, I, I do want to note that, um, based on what was say, stated before, that the um, internal cross-access is addressed in a private agreement. And as we discussed, the gate access for the waterworks department is pending. So staff recommendation is um, staff did uh, send the plat out for agency review. Um, not all the responses were received but by the deadline, um, but um, the lack of comments is considered to be considered to be uh, no objection. The Waterworks Department did respond regarding the need for an easement at the gate. Uh, staff recommends for both preliminary and final approval of the subdivision <coughs> plat for Water Tower Second Edition, subject to the um, private ECR agreement is recorded for re addressing the cross access and noted on the um, plat drawing and to the cross access agreement f for the gate for the waterworks department is resolved and the agreement um, recorded and referenced on the subdivision plat. If the Planning Commission agrees and the staff requests that the Planning Commission adopt this <coughs> amended staff report as its findings of fact. Questions for Mr. Pollan? Go ahead, Mr. My, uh, my only question, just so uh, I'm clear, where exactly is the gate that we're referencing on the on here? If you would look at in your package, you should have a preliminary site plan yes. or water tower edition. So it is. Okay. Actually, it's a little confusing. It might actually be on lot two, uh, rather than lot three. Um, it's but lot three. It, I'm sorry, Dean. It is lot three. Oh, is okay. All right. It's it's. Um, it's the north northeasterly corner of lot one, extending from the from lot one northeasterly. That's where the location of the gate is. So it's common between the water company uh, water tower addition lot one from plan book 94, page 77, from that lot to lot three. Um, that boundary is where the gate is. Does that answer your question? Yes. Commissioner? Yes. Any other questions for Mr. Poland? Being none, I'll do my best to formulate a, a, a recommendation for a motion. Uh, the chair would entertain a motion of approval of preliminary and final plat, subdivision plat approval for the Water Tower Second Edition, subject to the resolution of the private ERC being approved, recorded, and noted on the subdivision plat, and uh, cross access agreement for the gate for the Waterworks Department resolved, approved, recorded, and noted on the subdivision plat. Is there such a motion? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Commissioner Kazmierzak. Kazmierzak. Seconded by Commissioner Brock. Is there any discussion on the motion? Any discussion? Any discussion? We have a roll call on the motion, Mr. Novak. <coughs> Roger Brock? Yes. Dean Bunn? Yes. Uh, Mike Dye? Ann Herbert? Yes. William Hutton? Yes. Thomas Kazmierzak? Yes. Anne Spitali? Yes. Sharon Zaney? Uh, Marcus Taylor. Yes. Okay, eight ayes, one absent. Motion passes. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Novak, and congratulations to the petitioner. We look forward to Mr. President. Second. Motion. Beg your pardon. We're not done. <laughs> I got I got ahead of my I got ahead of myself, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, if the plan commission agrees, then. Uh, we would ask that the plan commission adopt the staff report Amend as amended. Thank you. As a finding of fact. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Thank you, Roger. Uh, Commissioner Brock, seconded by Commissioner Spitali. Is there any discussion on the motion? Any discussion? 
Any discussion? Roll call on the motion, Mr. Novak. Roger Brock. Yes. Dean Button. Yes. Michael Dye. Ann Herbert. Yes. William Hutton. Yes. Thomas Kazmierzak. Yes. Dance Patelli. Yes. Sharon Zaney. Yes. Marcus Taylor. Yes. Eight ayes, zero nays, one absent. Motion passes. Now I will thank the petitioner <laughs> for your patience and uh, Godspeed and bless you and the condition that you're dealing with with your uh, mother-in-law. And uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayotte. Okay. Moving on, uh, item six, or I guess I should ask, is there any other new business, Mr. Bolin? No other new business. Thank you. Item six, correspondence. Any correspondence? No correspondence. Thank you. Item seven is commissioner comments. Any comments from our commissioners? Nope, being none. Uh, item eight is staff comments. I'm waiting to get confirmation as to whether or not we will have something for the May Plan Commission meeting. Keep your schedules opened. Yes. Uh, next item on the agenda is public comment. Anyone in the audience wishing to address the Plan Commission? Anyone in the audience? Anyone in the audience? Being none, uh, the chair would entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Commissioner Second. Kazmierzak, seconded by Commissioner Brock. Uh, all in favor signify by s saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned.